how do you deal with the customer who is truly impossible and can't be pleased? Well, there are three types of customers. Well, first of all, we have to understand that it, the dissatisfied customer, really dissatisfied customer, let's understand that too. They become terrorists against your organization. You better do something about it. Then they're the neutral ones, they're the satisfied ones. They're, they're satisfied. They go somewhere else, they have a better deal. And then as the loyal one, they're yours. First of all. But within all customer bases, there are some that will complain because they actually have a reason to go. 96%, over 96%, we know that from every study, they just want to get rid of their frustration. And not, not her, I call a manager, they want to get rid of it. Then there are three percent who actually there's something happened where a remedy should be made, not charging for the room or whatever. And then there are less than one percent. Frankly, don't anybody tell anybody. We call that the jerk factor. This happens to exist. They just like to, to complain and they look for something. They're frankly very, very rare. So there's a danger that the organization puts everything into that 1%. So I, I made it very clear. If there is a real extreme, you're not empowered for that extreme to, to throw them out of the hotel or something. I'm the only one who can do that. So I did have a call one day and said, Horst, there is this guest from hell here. Every morning, the channel manager called, every morning comes to my office sits there for half an hour complaining about absolutely everything. It said it is unbearable, but not only that horse. He's on a club level and he pinched three of the ladies that are upstairs somewhere. I said, whoa, wait a minute. This one will be expelled. And here's how we do it. You double lock the room. When, when he comes back, you say, Mr. Jones, we are committed to make sure that every guest is happy. And we have tried everything with you, and forgive us, we were unsuccessful. We try something new now. We're sending you to another hotel. We have the limousine is waiting for you, the reservation is made, we help you pack, but you have to go to another hotel. And you're, you're expelled. Simple as that. But it is so that you will be happy. And I knew he would find me, those, those people find me. And sure enough, I got this telephone call, I, I knew it would happen. And I heard somebody very angry, suing me on the telephone already and owning the company and owning me and destroying me and and, and, and uh, said, Mr. Jones, if you sue me, understand, I will show up with the three ladies that you pinched. They will be in the courtroom with me. And of course, you never sued us. But interesting enough, a number of months later, six, eight months later, I got a call from another hotel and said, Horst, I know I'm not allowed to expel somebody, but there is this guest from hell here. He comes every morning to my office. Not only that, he pinched legs. I said, oh, oh, Mr. Jones is in your hotel. He said, how did you know? I said, I said here's what you do. And, when the, and he called me back when, the, when the, Mr. Jones came back and they had it double locked. And he said, we want you to be happy. He said, oh, no, not again. And he was gone. This happens, but it's very rare. We cannot put everybody into that category. We have to really, and that's difficult to delegate. So I didn't delegate that part. 